Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in detail about the emulsion polymerization. Emulsion polymerization is the most important technique used for addition polymerization. In this method, generally the monomer is dispersed in the form of fine droplets. That means the size of the monomer may be around 10 power minus 5 to 10 power minus 6 mm in a large amount of water. The solution is stabilized by the addition of emulsifying agents such as soap or detergent. Then initiators like persulfate is added. Whenever persulfate is added, then this dissociates and results in the formation of ion radical. So, whenever persulfate is added to the monomer, then it results in the formation of sulfate ion radical. And always these ion radicals will interact with monomers. And result in the formation of of a polymer. So, let us see how a polymer is formed through emulsion polymerization. So, whenever the monomer is dispersed in large quantity of water after that by the addition of soap or detergent to the monomer it slowly results in the formation of micelles. So, whenever the monomer in the form of fine droplet is dispersed in large quantity of water followed by the addition of soap or detergent, it slowly results in the formation of the micelle. During the formation of micelles, Always these surfactant molecules will have head and tail like structure. All the head parts are directed away from the micelle droplet whereas 
tail parts will come very close to each other and always remember that in this monomer droplet the surfactant molecules results in the formation of micelles so whenever the surfactant molecules are added then it results in the formation of micelles at this moment whenever the initiators are added so these are the initiator molecules so whenever initiator is added then it results in the formation of ion radicals and these initiators once they enter into the monomer droplet then they interact with each and every monomer present in the polymer which results in the formation of the polymer so once the initiator is added so these are the initiator molecules these are the surfactant molecules this is the monomer droplet so initially the monomer is dispersed in the form of fine droplets then soap or detergent will be added as the stabilizer then it results in the formation of micelles it represents the micelle formation after that whenever the initiator is added once the initiator enters into the monomer droplet it interacts with each and every monomer and results in the formation of the polymer this polymerization technique will be continued until all the monomers interacts and results in the formation of the polymer coming to the applications of this emulsion polymerization emulsion polymerization technique is highly useful for the preparation of polyvinyl chloride polyvinyl acetate polystyrene neoprene rubber and it is the best technique for the preparation of abs plastics which are highly useful for the manufacturing of keyboard keys pipes and fittings coming to the advantages of this emulsion polymerization here the conversion of monomer into polymer is an exothermic reaction that means it is accompanied by the release of lot of heat energy so heat control is the major factor and by this technique heat control is efficient so heat can be controlled efficiently by using emulsion polymerization technique once the initiator enters into the each and every monomer droplet the rate of polymerization is high so rate of polymerization is high
at the same time it is possible to get very high molecular weight polymers the polymerization will be continued until all the monomers interact and results in the formation of the high molecular weight polymer these are the few advantages of emulsion polymerization technique next coming to the disadvantages here this emulsion polymerization is costly and the polymer obtained is impure that means impurity levels are high and if we want to separate the impurities from the polymer we have to adopt some special methods so these are the few disadvantages associated with the emulsion polymerization this is all about the method applications advantages and disadvantages of emulsion polymerization if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day